Hello, creative friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is Heather with The Myriad Maker. And in this video, I am going to take you along on the next step of the process of making these beads, and that's covering them with a coat of varnish. Um, now, I've already put one coat of varnish. I actually tried another video, but <laughs> I'm new at YouTube, so, you know, sometimes things don't go so well. <laughs> so I, I'm making the video again. Um, Anyway, uh, this is what I'm going to use for the varnish. I use this on some other projects as well. Um, my neighborhood actually has this fun project where people uh, paint rocks and leave them at certain spots in the neighborhood and people will pick them up and take them home and contribute new ones to the pile. So there's always a variety of new colored rocks all around the neighborhood and um, I've made a few myself, so I'll probably do another video at some point <laughs> painting some rocks. Um, so that's why I have this varnish, and it works great for uh, the beads. So what I've got here for my setup, um, I wanted to have some place where they could dry untouched, so I put a little toothpick in the end and then we'll poke them in here. Um, so let's get started. I've already, like I said, put a coat of varnish on them. And um, so this will be the second coat. Uh, so I'll just do a quick little um, coat and then let them dry here. So let's see, what can I talk about while I'm doing this? Um, I'm gonna have to start thinking about subjects to cover <laughs> while I'm creating things. Um, one thing I've been thinking about is what am I actually going to do with these beads? Um, I, I like them. I think they're interesting. They are they're all coordinated. They all kind of go together. Um, <laughs> I used to watch What Not to Wear and I always liked what Stacey London said about things don't have to match, they have to go. So these go <laughs> nicely together. And um, so maybe I'll do like a a statement jewelry necklace, which um, kind of cracks me up because we were watching Baroness Vaughn's sketch not so long ago and there was a sketch on women, sorry I'm out of frame, women in their statement jewelry years. <laughs> and I am definitely a woman that is in my statement jewelry years, so you know, this could make for an interesting necklace. And if not, I don't know, maybe they'll just go into my pile of creative sundries and get used at a later date for something else completely different. Uh, who knows? If you have any ideas what you think I should do with these, let me know. Oh, now we've got a few that aren't on the toothpicks. I took them off so I could do a thumbnail. So YouTube, you'll have to let me know, what are you curious about? What do you like to create? What do you want to see me create? Are there things that um, you're interested in? I'm pretty open-minded and resourceful when it comes to creating things, so if you have specific interests, let me know in the comments. Um, I don't know if you watched my intro video. Sorry, my <laughs> dryer is running, so that's what the the chiming is in the background. Um, if you watched my intro video, you know that this channel is about all manner of creative things. And I like to create all kinds of different things. Like, um, actually over the Christmas break, I made a, a little treasure box for my niece. I had uh, been cleaning out some of my old things and I ran across this uh, porcelain angel that I had given to me. I don't know. I was a child when I got it. I don't even remember who gave it to me. Probably an aunt or an uncle or maybe even my grandmother. Um, but my niece has the same birth month as, I, as me. So I made her a little treasure box and it has the porcelain doll inside 
as well as a little drawer and I'm making some um, a couple of clips for her hair and a, a bracelet that will go in the drawer. I'll probably do a video on that because uh, I've got those mostly done but uh, not completely done. Oops! Let's make sure I didn't muck that up. So I'll probably do a video on that but let me know. What are you interested in? What would you like to see? All right, so that's it. Easy as that. So let them dry. Um, that will give them a nice, whoops, shiny coat. Um, you can see them a little bit better here. Sorry, I, I don't have really good equipment. I'm just using my iPhone and <laughs> things at my disposal while I get this channel up and running and, and see if it has any legs. All right, that's it, my creative friends. Have a great day.